Hey guys, welcome back to the Mini Machine Shop. I'm Dave. Not a whole lot's been going on in the shop here. I just got back from vacation. Having a hard time getting back into the swing of things. So, um, been kind of waiting for um, some parts here, which I guess just came. I hope this is it. Working on the dash. It's almost done. Um, got everything in there. Got a nice radio now put in there. Uh, Pioneer. I guess it's a hundred dollars. It just happens to fit this bezel perfectly. Um, AM, FM, CD, Bluetooth for the phone, everything. So I'm hoping that's going to work out. Let me open this box up. Yeah, it should be. Uh, my birthday's coming up, so my wife ordered uh, the last part I need for it. I didn't really want to spend the money to replace the uh, wiper switch. But she bought it for me, so this should be the wiper switch, I hope. That's really well packaged. Yeah, come on. And I hope it's in good condition. Is it? You get it up? Yeah, that's it. I can see the fiber optic already. Boy, this guy packaged this well. Throw that away. Deep, deep, deep. Jeez. <laughs> okay, wherever you got this bag. And there it is. It looks brand new and clean. Wow. And knob's messed up, but I can use my old knob. So there's a whole new wiper switch. I'm gonna hit that. I know I gotta rewire it. Where's the other one? Lost it. I lost the old one. There it is. Yeah, the plug is completely different than my original one. So no big deal. I just unsolder it from here and put it on here. Does that even look the same? Yep, all the contacts are the same. Alright, so, cool. I can finish this dashboard up and get it back into the car. Um, some random videos I just had shot before the vacation, so I'll show you guys. The first one is um, the new check. Everybody's seen that. Well, I decided to dial indicate the inside of it where the uh, collet goes to see what um, what the run out is on it so here's the video and I just wanted to tape this um, the new collet chuck I wanted to see how much run out is in it now this is the brown sharp best test so the little ticks are not a thousandth from the zero to the one the one is one thousandth worth of movement wait until you see this needle look at that the run out is Half a tenth of a thousand. Yeah, half a tenth of a thousand. Now that's pretty good machining, if you ask me. <laughs> All right. Second thing I wanted to do was just kind of show everybody, you know, in the new chuck, just turning some aluminum, and so you can see the finishes that I'm getting. And I've never been able to do this on a three jaw, and I actually have never machined on a four jaw yet. So. Um, Here's some turning of aluminum on the new chuck. Alright, just show a little bit of cutting of this new guy. With my A9 fluid. And a beautiful cut. I'm taking 10 thousandths at a time. Of course, I don't know where the chip breaker is. I'm just shooting dry to tell over me. There you go. Huh. I'm going to have to vacuum the floor again. Wow. Yeah, I did, um, I had taken the half inch rod out and then rotated it some, put it back in. It was right on the money. I registered it exactly where I had taken it out so I didn't have anything you know, off center or anything. Another 10,000 cut. Beautiful finishes. Uh -huh. 
let me back it out a little bit here. Which way? Wrong way, of course. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anybody has this particular tool holder, but 70 degrees is when, <laughs> I've realized it's when this edge here is absolutely flush with the face here. I'm um, at 70 degrees, so I don't have to pull out the protractor anymore, or angle finder, to get 70 degrees. All right, well. And to follow it up, here's, uh, I'm gonna part off this big piece too. I never, uh, biggest piece I've ever parted with three quarter aluminum. So here's uh, parting on the new chuck. This is the biggest part off I ever did. This is three quarter. Well, there really isn't any chatter or any problems. You know, the compound the gives nice. I love this new chuck though. This thing is cool. In there pretty far. Alright, well. I won't bore you with much more of this. And the last video I show is, yeah, I still got to do the um, glove compartment door on it. I've got the new door, all the screws are rested, so I just wanted to see what it would be like if I could blue them in the new oven, the little toaster oven that I've got. Unfortunately, it was unsuccessful. I'm not sure whether it's the steel or there was still a coating or something on the head of the screws, but here's unsuccessful bluing. All right, here we are. Trying to blue the screws for the glove compartment. There's the glove compartment, can you see that? There it is. All the screws are kind of nasty and corroded out on it, so. Decided to pull them out, and this is a tester of two screws. I gotta take it, well, what, 350? They're gonna brown. And 400, they'll turn blue, so I want to see what they do around. I'm at 245 right now. Just shooting it with the laser um, guy here. <laughs> laser temperature thermometer. All right, so I'll bring you back when it hits around 350, and we can see if they're browning. All right, and last, uh, another package ready to go out, Don. All right. So hopefully I can get it in the mail today or tomorrow, get it off to you. Um, that's it. I hope everybody enjoyed. See you next time.